Here is a barcode. You see these things everywhere. Go pick up something around your house. Go to the kitchen, pick up a can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes or whatever, and you will see the barcode, most likely. So on the barcode, what we have, that guy right there is always going to be a check digit. I'm going to show you how this works, but it would be worthwhile after you saw a few of these to go pick up an item around your house to see this thing work. And it's going to be amazing. Some of you are like, no, it can't be amazing. Watch this. You take the first number, which is seven. I'm going to highlight it in orange. And then you take every other number. So we have the five, we have the seven, then another seven, um, a zero, and a zero. Now, oh, by the way, those guys up there, those bars, are actually sort of a binary thing, and the way they look is determined by these numbers. So what I would like you to do is we'll put the sum of the um, orange numbers in there. Okay. So if you sum up the orange numbers, you end up getting three, seven, so that's 21, plus a five is 26, and then there's some zero, so this is 26. Now the other numbers, so those were sort of the odd position numbers, the even position numbers I'm going to highlight in green. The check digit is one of the green ones. I'm going to add those up and put them in the green box. And when I do, I end up getting 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now you might think to yourself, well, if you add those two um, numbers together, you get 48, which is not a multiple of 10, but we're not done. So this is the crazy scheme that happens with barcodes. You multiply the orange number by three. I'm doing this all by hand, by the way. So 3 times 6 is 18, carry the 1, and then we have 6, 78. Okay, it's the 78 that you add to the 22, which gives you 7, 8, 9, 10. It gives you a what? Multiple of 10. Now we can talk about modular arithmetic, arithmetic, but we don't have to talk about that. We can just show you some of these, these problems. So now this is what I'm going to do. We're going to do three of these problems. I found things around my kitchen that had barcodes. There they are. So this looks like some Genio, I think it's turkey. Here's some diced tomatoes and some um, eggs. So we have cage-free eggs. And look what I've done with each check digit. I've covered it with little sticky notes. Because what I want us to do on each of these three examples is to figure out what goes on the check digit. And then we can take them off and see. Now because this is a video and I'm putting it on YouTube, these could be a little small, so I've enlarged them. And you know what, I have any, I think I've only verified, no, I've verified refried beans and, and that's not here. I don't think I've verified these, so hopefully the check digit is correct. So here's the first one. So I went ahead and enlarged the Genio Turkey. 
and we're going to go ahead and see if we get the correct check digit. So that's the um, idea here. Let's take out our colors that we did before and we'll try to keep the same thing here. So this is orange. So I don't know, I've not done these examples yet. I hope everything comes out all right and then I'll go ahead and put an orange box and then I'll put some green here. Here's the green box. Okay, what do the orange ones add up to? Zero, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, what do the green ones add up to? Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what that check digit is. Okay, and I have it covered up. Before I do that, what did I do with one of these? Well, I multiplied the orange one by three. So that gives me 39. Now I know the green number is eight and it might actually be a little more because we don't know what that is. I'm gonna add the 39, well, I'll, yeah, I'll go 39 plus eight. So this gives me 17 and then 47. So the check digit in this example should be what number? Well, it needs to add up to a multiple of 10. Our next multiple of 10 is 50, so it should be three. So will it be? Could I even take these these are like sticky notes. Uh, come on. I think I put three of them on because you can see through just one of them. And there it is. Woohoo! Let's do a few more of these, okay? And I would strongly encourage you to pick up something around your house. Maybe not cover up the check digit, but just see if it works and gives you a multiple of 10. So the next thing, you know, that we could take a look at is this one right here. This was the diced tomatoes. It goes really good when I'm making chili. So let's see what that check digit is. So the odd placed ones I'll make in orange. Here's the orange box. We could just figure out what those add up to now. Um, zero and four and zero, so that's four, five, six, seven. I'll multiply that by three and that gives me 21. Now the green ones. So that's green, the zero's green, green. So I'm at two and then plus five is seven and then this one's eight, nine. So then I go 21 plus 9, and that gives me 30. Wow, so I'm already at a multiple of 10, and that's what we want. So what is the check digit? Well, the check digit has to be zero through nine, one of those where it adds up to a multiple of 10. We already have a multiple of 10, so my um, answer then should be zero for the check digit. There it is, beautiful. Let's go ahead and do the eggs. And maybe you wanna pause the video and figure out what the check digit is for this container of eggs. I think the most exciting thing is just to pick up anything around your house and see that this scheme does work. Now some of you, they'll be like, oh, this is stupid. I hate math. Oh, well, what can I do about that? I can't do anything about the fact if people hate math. And, um, <laughs> but you will see barcodes whether you hate math or not. You can run from math and you can even hide from math, but it's there. It's in your face, isn't it? Okay, so there's the orange and then here's the green. 
Uh, yeah, that's a faster way of doing that. Okay, so here's the green box. And the orange box. And we'll add up the oranges here. So what do we have? One, two, um, plus seven is nine. Nine plus nine is 18. I forgot that seven there. So that is 25, I believe. Now, I might want to check that again. So, okay, it is 25. And then um, we have the greens. One, two, two plus nine is 11, plus six is 17. So we don't want to make the mistake and just add those two numbers together. I multiply the orange one by three, which gives me 15 and then six, seven. Is this crazy? Who thought of this? Who cares? This is just the way it works. We add those up. We end up getting 12, carry the one, and then we have seven, eight, nine, 92. So the check digit on this example should be the number that brings me to the next multiple of 10. The next multiple of 10 is 100. So the check digit should be 8. So let's see if it is. And there it is. Beautiful. And you're, you might be thinking, well, Joe, you just went around your house looking for things until you got like three examples of, of where this crazy thing worked. I dare you to find something where this doesn't work. It's always going to work.